Hi everybody, it's Michelle. I have had a few people ask me um, what curriculum I'm using for Spanish. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys what we are using. So let's take a look. With choosing a Spanish curriculum, I originally thought that it would be the best thing for us or the best thing for Brooklyn to have a Spanish uh, workbook curriculum period that only had Spanish in it. So the directions were in Spanish, the work was in Spanish, all was in Spanish. But then after thinking about it, I was like, that just doesn't make sense. If we already don't know Spanish, then how would that help her learn Spanish? I don't know. That just didn't make sense to me. So this specific workbook actually has the directions in English and then, you know, the actual work is in Spanish. So look at that real fast. Okay, so here it is. I actually just have it in a binder. Uh, excuse Brooklyn's uh, messy desk. She was just doing some stuff on her desk. But yes, I just have it in a regular three wing binder. I believe this is one inch. I have no idea. But in a regular binder and um, uh, here it is. It's all extra, I'm just gonna say ghetto, but um, I was too cheap to take it to Office Depot to get them to cut the spine off, so I kind of just did it myself. So some of them are <laughs> poking out, but it is what it is. So this is the complete book of Spanish, grades one through three, and um, I got it from Amazon. I'll actually link it as well under this video. And um, it came with this poster here of the Spanish numbers. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go through it for really quickly. Um, so of course it has a table of contents and I'm just gonna kind of flip through some things. Um, it does go by kind of colors here. Everything is grouped in colors. So this orange here is for numbers, as you can see. And then uh, this teal blue here is for the alphabet. After that, the parts of speech. And then we have expressions here. And let's see. And then colors. Then animals clothes, body, uh, family. They have some stickers here, which I haven't used any of them. <laughs> then we have community, classroom objects, uh, songs, learning cards, and then the final review. I just kind of take one section per week and that's what we focus on. So for the first week, we literally just did numbers, all numbers. Every single day we did numbers. And then, um, and it has so many different activities with it. Um, so you can actually write them in here. They have them in Spanish words right here. And then right here, it's kind of the matching. Um, see, look at this. Uh -oh. Don't do what I do. Please take it to Office Depot and have them cut off the spine unless you have the X-Acto knife. But uh, they also have uh, the searches in here as well. Um, so this one, you um, just like you do a regular word search, you take the word here and you're going to go in here and you're going to find that. Currently, we are on Okay, yes. Yeah. So what we do is we take one section per week and that's what we work on for the entire week. So for this week, we've been working on Spanish colors and then next week we will work on the animals. Um, one thing that I do with this workbook is have her do... Um, the worksheets and then also I will kind of create some type of game or activity that kind of goes along with it, you know, just for extra practice. And I need to be making sure that I do that more often because sometimes I just forget to add in the extras. Also, when I first got this book, I was actually planning on not having her write in the book just so we can continue to use it over and over again. 
um, and you know just to have it for extra practice whenever she forgets something um, but that just didn't work out for me I just really wanted her to be able to dive into it without any restrictions and she kept forgetting when she needed to write in in it and when she didn't need to write in it so it just kind of confused her so i just said forget it i'll just make it to where she just writes in it completely also too my sister is amazeballs and she's always finding books for me and and for brooke and she brings them over and so she did that again and so she actually picked us up two spanish dictionaries and hold on i'm gonna show them to you so this is the first Spanish dictionary, is the Spanish-English one. And I would say that this is more of a grown-up thing, although uh, Brooke can still use it with no problem. Um, being that it is Spanish to English, you have to kind of know a little bit of Spanish, I would say. Um, so yeah, Spanish to English, like I said. And then for the next one is this Spanish dictionary. And I think this one is more of Brooklyn speed. And I also like it because it's so many pictures in it. And you know, it just gives the examples. So I really, really like that. Um, and so right now we're working on food. So this is a section we're kind of using. And something we also will do is work on the dry erase board. So for instance, we're not doing animals right now, we're animals next week, but so we would, you know, look at these here, find it in here, and then write it up here. Um, and that just, the repetition is just kind of really, really good for her. And I really, really like her to be able to see it multiple times so that she can really grasp um, the Spanish word for it and see the examples for it as well. One other thing we use is Duolingo and it's like the Spanish website. Like it does Spanish sentences. Yeah, yeah you have to try and make the Spanish sentences. And the Duolingo login. Right. Okay, I already defeated it. Not defeated, but passed most of them. Intro, okay. And purse. La cartera. La cartera. Is that up or down? Up. Let's see if you're right. And you better continue. Passport. El pasaporte. El pasaporte. And right. No, yo no tengo dinero. So if you don't really know them, you could just try and guess or just, no. put, just push on one of them. So you push no, but if you mess up also, you want to erase it, just push that. Or you could go to use keyboard and delete it there. No. Yo. I canceled. No. No, I don't. I don't have money. Okay, yeah, so that's the website that we use and it's really, really cool and it's also free. That is all that we use for Spanish. If you guys have any recommendations to aid us in our Spanish studies, then please make sure you leave that down below in the comment section. I would really, really appreciate it. And um, that is all that we have for you guys today. I will see you all next time. Bye. Bye.